Ta. Oh god, I fell out on the wrong side of the- what the hell? That's a welcome, little creepy. Welcome home, travelers. Hey, that's me. I started building a giant robot. I think that it's a completely warranted and justified counter to his castle. I'm gonna start it up. Uh, John, where are we? <laughs> Don't ask me. Um, Last thing I remember is you took over the island and I left. I'm actually really surprised to see you here and not bloody. All the thundering in the distance makes me wonder if something is watching us and just placing us in these worlds, having us figure everything out on our own. There's a sign here. Oh. Be sure to have a torch on your hot bar during Halloween or Friday to the 13th. What the hell? Or the darkness will eat you. What? There's torch no Halloween or Friday the 13th in Minecraft. <laughs> Torches and lava keep you warm. Warm? I'm always... Oh, oh, I have new bars. What is this new sensation of warmth? Uh, I think we're in trouble, John. What's in this chest? Hey, we got some food journal. Uh-oh. We also have some books. Carbonite body armor. Fire immunity. Oh, I have one of those. Last stand, domineering. That falling meteors, huh? That seems good. Whoa, that's a lot of thunder. That is a oh, there's a quest book. You should grab one of these. That sounds like it's very useful. And a food journal. Um... Grapes diminishing returns start after eating any food 50 or more times. <laughs> okay. That's not how food works. That's how taste works. Apparently that's how food works now. <laughs> grilled creeper, creeper brain, brain stew. stew. This sounds disgusting. Seems more edible than the non-grilled version. Eating a zombie... Hearty zombie meal. Eat a zombie whole. Alright, well, I have a feeling food's going to be a problem. All right, you want the sword or the bow? Um, I'll take the bow. Flint arrows and an electric bow. Interesting. Um, all right, well, let's see what's in this quest book. Oh. Man, that's noisy. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Questing mode is not enabled. <laughs> I think you have to do it. It told me I'm not allowed. I do not have permission. What? Hey, Thunderman, turn on questing mode so we can frickin' do something. It's talking to me. Oh my god, this is a lot of text. What the hell did I just do? Oh, wow. Why is she talking to me? Also, that's very rude of her. Bio-2-clear? That, that's not a word. sound good I I missed the island what happened John 
What did your blood magic do? Tornadic? <laughs> what? Was Did that? you just hear that? Yes. <laughs> what? You will single handedly construct a NASA interplanetary vessel. <laughs> what? Is this? And inspiration forward slash hope. How do I turn this off? How do I? Ah, uh, frick. Okay. So a reputation is helpless. Uh, that's a hunt hunter rank. I don't survivor. Okay, so apparently by killing guys. Uh, oh, um, we should join a party. Apparently. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. Apparently, I created a party named you. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to invite you. I think if you click on the party... Hey, there you go. It says you're now in the party. I think what that means... Okay. So, we share lives, but we get multiple rewards. So we can each get our own treasure bags. All right. Oh my gosh. How do I Okay, it's escape key to get right out of the book. Um so about that apocalypse. What is this blue stuff? What blue stuff? It's like I'm am I sweating? Oh. Um yes, maybe. I don't know. I don't see any blue stuff. It's looking up like the temperature is 38 Celsius, which sounds kind of hot. That does sound a little... A little maybe because I was standing by that torch for so long? Oh! Maybe. torch. Uh, yeah, no. If you stand by a torch, it heats you up. And Man, you must, I'm hot. You must be overheating, and so you're sweating, so your water levels are probably going down really fast. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So we have grapes. Can we use those to make an interplanetary ship? I don't think that's how interplanetary ships work, John. Oh, uh, go to the engineering diary. Oh, that would make sense. The book is your diary of progress with discovering items and blocks in the Eureka system as an engineer testing experimentation is required before creating a machine. And you'll need to make and use simple machines in order to have the Eureka moment that leads to new creations. Here you can find your search well in their progress. Duster, uh, for... duster, mechanical duster, connect, multi-tool. Oh my gosh, okay, these seem complicated. First things first. I guess we let's should... Let's figure out how to survive. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's see what the book says. Uh, getting started seems like a good place. Oh my god, don't scroll down. Scroll down on what? Don't scroll down in the book. It's just going to make you sad. The engineering diary? No, the quest book. Oh. Oh, my God. 175 quests in total. There are many, many chapters to this, John. We are going to be at this for a while. Oh, my. Jupiter moons. Yeah, that's why I said don't scroll down. Well, let's see what's get. Oh my god, getting started. What? <laughs> Server what? quest. You do not need to complete this quest if you're playing single player or just hanging around on a ser on a one to two player server. It's meant for a massive server in which spatial drives work once to first two. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. Okay. Because we're not playing on a massive server. We're just playing by ourselves. Head to the armory and grab some weapons. A task where we can hand in uh okay, so we actually have to Turn in this. Can electric hand... bow. Oh, we, we have the paper broadsword. Yeah, okay. and the electric bow. So if we manually submit... So we have to select the task, 
So if you hit select task, that queues this up as the active quest. And I guess if we hit manual submit, it'll take the item out of your inventory and count um, it. So try hitting manual submit on your book. Should one of us have both items then? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we can both turn it in because we're in a party now. Okay. Yeah, see, mine updated to say 100% on the, on the broadsword. Awesome. So now if I hit this, oh, we should be done. And yeah, so now we each get a camel pack, a paper longbow, an iced sword, a sapling storage, plus one hunter rank, and we get to either pick one of these two energy cells. Uh, I like the blue one, so I'm going to take the blue one. Oh, it made oh, a noise. I already grabbed the blue one. Oh, well, well we both had blue ones. Oh. Oh, it's got water inside. Oh, Eureka, you start planning all your future builds, but you realize you need a ton of resources. You also start thinking of a way to make... Oh, nice. If you put the camel pack in your chest slot... To make that slot, easier. Yeah. You automatically drink the water. In your chest slot. Camel pack. What do you mean in your chest? Oh, as a body piece. Yeah. Oh. Not thirsty anymore. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, that's what these are for. They carry water. Yep, camel packs. Okay, good. And uh, I'm just kind of drinking. Paper longbow, iced sword. Oh, okay. Okay. That seems useful. Uh, sapling sword, energy cell. Oh, I think both the energy cells are the same. I think it's just for cosmetics. Uh, so, oh, why do I have two quest books? I don't want two quest books. Hate to it. break it to you, Corey. We're still ranked as helpless. Well, we're kind of helpless. Oh, uh, what's this thing? Energy acceptor, sterling generator, put drive in spatial I.O. port, then push button. Ensure the spatial area is empty before putting in new drive. I don't know where the spatial area is. Is that this thing up here? Oh, you know what, John? I bet the spatial area is this center 5x5 five, 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 five cube in here. I bet this is the spatial area. So, that's void stone. Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, spatial pylon. Okay. So, um, where is the I.O. port? Is it down here? That's the button. Uh, oh, okay. It's behind it. So, it does have power. It has some power. All right. I'm going to put in the sapling storage. Um, okay. I remember this now. <laughs> I hate this mod. Um, it's cool, but... All right, you notice that sapling storage thing you got, right? Uh, it's... sapling storage. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you look underneath the button, you'll see the block is called spatial I.O. port. And if you put the sapling storage in the left side, and then if you hit the button, it's going to open up a spatial area in that area above us, and it's going to move your sapling storage into the right. So go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And then hit the button. Okay. Now, immediately, so we don't forget, grab your spatial storage, your sapling storage, and get it out of there. What I remember is if you put one in the left side while there's one in the right side, it will overwrite the one in the right side and you'll lose it. Now, the important... So keep that in your inventory for now, but let's go upstairs. So what did that do, this storage? Oh, I see. Yeah. We have a thing now. Um, what is this? That's a grass block. So I'm going to get this sapling. Let's get these saplings because we're probably going to need wood. And what's this? Drying rack? Yeah, but what's on it? And how do I... Is that supposed oh! to be water? It's a watering can. Yeah, that's water. Oh, this is more than water. I have regeneration. I don't know what this is. Get in there. I'm still kind of hot. Yeah, I'm cooling off. And it's giving me regeneration. Maybe it's honey? I don't know. But I have uh, a watering can. So, actually, what we should do is we should Whoa. collect some of this dirt. Let's collect the dirt on the corners here. Um. Oh no! Put it back. <laughs> we don't want to flood the whole area. Okay, hang on. 
There we go. <laughs> we want to leave some grass. We might be able to come back with a silk touch or something later. Plus, I still have mine. But now that we have dirt, uh, when it's daytime, we can go outside and we can plant some trees. And I have a watering can, so we might even be able to speed up the tree growth a little bit. So why don't you toss right. that dirt to me and I can head out in the morning and do this. What about... Oh! What about plants we can eat? Um, maybe that will come also in the quest book. Let's see. So we completed the first quest. Uh, the second quests are dungeons and getting wood. I feel like getting wood would be easier. Getting wood would be a lot easier. What is the basic resource required to survive on this new earth? Head to the su supply storage and use the bone meal and saplings to get some wood. Oh, we got supply storage? What? Where's the supply storage? Maybe there's another level... No, there's not another level beneath. Is there another level above? No, because we saw the outside. I was hopeful. I didn't see any bone meal, did you? Nope. Hmm. Whoa. Huh? Did you find a thing? I found outside. Oh! Oh. It doesn't sound like you want to be outside. I got smacked. Oh. You did not want me coming outside. Oh, let's not do that. Let's let's make sure they stay. Carpenter's garage door. Huh. Let's keep them outside. I don't want them here. It didn't look like we could plant anything out there. I don't think we can. I think we have to use the dirt. That's why I said let's get the dirt blocks. Um, why does it keep doing that? The noise? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I was looking to see if I, uh, there was any... Hmm. I don't see any hidden stuff here. Oh, these are all energy cells. Okay. Sterling generator. Yeah, I think we can put burnable stuff in here to power these energy cubes so that we can keep using the uh, the spatial IO port. Maybe I'm misreading this. Hmm. Quests, open. Well, I'm going to select the task. And I'll start working on it, but I don't... I don't see any bone meal. Oh! This chest is scrollable! Oh! There's nothing in there, but it's scrollable. I'm gonna put the sapling storage back. Don't really need that, I don't think. No. Well, you'll want it when you want to recollect the stuff that's in there. Oh, gotcha. Which, I mean, you could do right now. You could just put it back in the left side, hit the button, it'll move to the right side, grab all the stuff above us, put it back in your drive, and you can put the drive away. That would be fine. Uh, do we need to? If we want to use the spatial drive for anything, we will. But probably not right now. All right. I wonder if it's safe outside yet. I can't tell if it's... Uh, I hear spiders. I can't tell if it's day or anything out there. I should put on this armor, I guess. Oh, there's zombie flesh. That's a good sign. Oh, that's that's normally a good thing, yeah. It's a whole lot of clay and snow. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, I found the spider. Jesus Christ. That was really loud. Hey, string. Wow, the sky looks sad. Is that coal? Huh? Is that oh. coal over here? Yeah, there's a little bit of resources, but... Oh! Are those meat? Is that a meteor? Maybe that's what fell. Arden diamond ore. Don't have a pickaxe. Nope. I don't think we're going to get a pickaxe for a while. Yeah, John, look! There's just obsidian here now, but I think a meteor... I think a meteor fell. I think that's what that explosion was earlier. Oh. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> a square meteor. Oh, zombie brain. 
We should make a point to get zombie brains so that we can make uh, jerky. I know all about meteors. Yeah. So this is your fault. And judging from all that thunder, that's kind of what I assumed. Gas leak. That doesn't sound good. Oh, what's this? I found uh, another hut. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> Make sure you're uh, wearing actual armor. Whoa, 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 what is that? Let me in. <laughs>